Um, so I'm going, I'm there in the Skills Development Centre, and the, this woman's just sort of going, she's just taking me around and saying, now you have to sign this, and when you do, when you photocopy, you'll be signing this, and this is the fire exit, and this is the toilet, and um, you can make tea, if you want, or coffee, you know. Um, so it's brilliant. And uh, so I, I was kind of a bit, I sort of went in, I, you know, it was the first few weeks of Sid's birth, and... I was extremely tired and not used to being extremely tired and uh, so I was sort of I was on the defensive you know and I was sort of like look can you just tell me this and she was obviously used to dealing she, you know she she'd done some kind of a a course on kind of like you know uppity buggers kind of who who don't want to do this kind of thing and she was being very sort of placatory and stuff which on the one hand was sort of did its job. And on the other hand, you know, I was thinking, I'm not, I know what you're doing, and I'm not going to be placated, okay? I want facts. I want to know. But she just didn't seem to get where I was coming from. You know, she didn't sort of, uh, she didn't. She just didn't, you know. Um, but anyway, that just went on for hours. She just told me that the basic thing was that I had to be there. You know, eventually I dragged this out of her. That I had to be there for 29 hours over a four-week period, which isn't much, but on the other hand, it's quite a lot. And um, so that was that. Um, and then she just sort of started. I mean, she, you know, she really missed the boat about what I was about. She just decided that I was some sort of, you know, film-making person, video who wanted to be, you know, who was looking for work as a video editing thing. Now, I wouldn't say no, but I don't think it's the sort of you know, it's not like they're going to be able to ease me into, you know, fucking, you know, it's not like, it's not, it's not like, you know, I'm going to have to swallow my pride and become Guy Ritchie's personal assistant or something, is it? I mean, but anyway, I was sort of like trying to give her the benefit of the doubt and stuff, um, and I, she started going on about her her brother, I think, who was an il or a, fr a brother-in-law or something, who was an illustrator, who'd illustrated a book, and this had come about because of he'd, you know, done some speculative thing, or I mean, there was something specific, you know, he was actually, she was actually sort of saying, you know, you could do this, um, with these, you know, if you get in contact with these people or something, and uh, right, the next. And then she she had me she sat me down. Oh, this was the next time I think she just yeah she went through all this stuff. Oh, and she told me that um, I might be able to get um, I might be able to do a course at uh, Cambridge Regional College about film and stuff. And I and she was saying oh, you might be able to get to, um, you know free tuition because you're sad, you're on the dole, you know, and stuff, uh, and so I was thinking, well, you know, that, that, that's, that actually sounds vaguely interesting, you know, I would actually, I don't believe that that is the case, but, you know, if that's true, so I come in the next time, she forgets who I am, not really a problem, many people will, I suspect, but, um, she, uh, as long as I can, Remember myself. Uh, she 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 she, she, she double booked me with some other with some other girl, uh, with some young girl who uh, who is who is she, she sort of says to me, oh now Pete, will you meet um, such and such, whose racial characteristics are Asian of a sort of Japanese Ch Chinese Korean kind of style, and she says. Now she wants to do exactly what you want to do. And I'm like, I doubt it, baby. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if you could only see the scope of what I'm trying to achieve. Um, so I'm sat down next to this girl, and this girl's like done work experience at Red TV, and he's like 18 or something, you know. And I don't know. It's, it's just like, you know we're having the wrong conversation again um, 
And she leaves me with this girl for about half an hour and we chat about stuff and I've managed to come across as my usual kind of negative self, I suppose. Um, but at least I was fairly truthful. Um, because often when I've done these things before, I've, I've I've ended up just sort of going along with it and playing a a ridiculous game where I'm just not actually, you know, you know they're trying to get me to do something and they're not even aware of of, of, of what it is that I'm trying to do. And um, so, uh, and then one point she comes over and she goes, you know, I told you about my brother-in-law who did the thing. I'm like, oh yeah, so she goes, I brought the book in, I told you I'd bring the book in, and she hands me this book, and it's uh, it's a science fiction book, obviously quite a bad one, a sort of hardback thing from about 1977, and on the front it's got a crap illustration of like a spaceship, and she's like, you see, you see, you apply yourself, you can, you too can illustrate books 26 years ago, you know, hmm? and I'm like, Right, okay, you know. Um, 